Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Julie. I'm the Ultra Field Service Rep in the Midwest. Um, so I get to work all the time with the awesome people at Runaway Shoes. Um, super excited to be able to be a part of this. Um, you know, it's kind of sad that we can't do this in person, but um, luckily there's technology, right? So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Ultra Footwear. Um, I'm going to start by covering just a couple key unique features to our brand. And then I'll show you some of these awesome products that we've got here today. So the first key feature that you will find in all ultras um, across the board is foot shape. So what foot shape means is our shoes are designed by tracing healthy human feet. Um, so what you'll find is that compared to maybe some other shoes you've seen out there, our shoes flare out just a little bit more here and here. What the, the whole purpose of that um, really has to do with toe splay and being able to extend your big toe fully. So when I talk about toe splay, what I mean is that your feet can spread out in the shoe when they impact the ground. Um, and this is very, very important. First of all, it can help um, with natural stability. So when you spread those toes out, you're, you know, kind of just creating a wider base. Um, you're also able to lock your arch into place at the right point in time during the gait cycle. Um, so that's going to help give you some more natural stability. Second, um, by being able to extend out that big toe, you're able to have a more powerful push off. You actually get a lot of your power out of your big toe when you're walking and running. And then finally, what I think is really one of the most important um, aspects of getting that toe splay is that you're able to better um, better absorb energy or impact from the ground. So I like to talk about this by using an analogy. Um, and that is, if you trip and fall, you, you know, your natural reaction is to spread out your fingers and brace that ground in front of you. Um, it's not to pinch your fingers together, pinch your hands together, and brace the ground like that. You know, you'd probably end up breaking, breaking some fingers, damaging your hands, um, so it's important that you spread out those hands to reduce the impact and brace the ground. It's the same concept when you're walking and running. Your feet are just falling over and over and over again. So if you can spread out those toes, you can reduce impact significantly. And then the last thing that's important to bring up when we talk about foot shape is it's really helpful for people with certain medical conditions, um, whether that's bunions, hammer toes, um, neuromas, things like that where, you know, having those toes pinched together is very not good for people with those issues. So um, having more, you know, a more foot shaped shoe is going to help folks with those issues, uh, as well as people that have issues with blisters. If your toes can spread out and they don't touch the end of the shoe, you're going to prevent blisters. Um, so that's foot shape. Foot shape is awesome, super helpful. And then the second core feature um, that all of our shoes across the board have is balanced cushioning. So um, when we talk about balanced cushioning, what we mean is that there's the same amount of cushion under the heel as under the forefoot. This is really helpful because it means that no matter where you tend to land, whatever your, you know, your natural gait cycle is, your natural biomechanics, um, no matter where you land, you have the same amount of cushion. So if you tend to hit really heavy on your forefoot, you've got a lot of cushion. If you tend to hit really heavy on your heel, you've got a lot of cushion. Um, but the main reason why we use a balanced cushion platform is to help your overall um, body posture and alignment. So if we're putting you, you know, in a balanced platform, chances are you are going to run more balanced. Um, so basically, if you pitch your heel forward, that has the potential to throw off your, your biomechanics. So keeping you level is going to keep you in a nice neutral state. Um, so balance cushion, cushioning, again, also kind of helps with that uh, impact reduction. It helps, so basically, um, it helps you land under a more bent knee um, instead of reaching out in front of your body to grasp the ground. And a lot of research shows that when you're landing under a bent knee, you're reducing impact, you're able to handle that impact. 
when you're landing with your foot way out in front of your body, um, sometimes you can have three to five times the amount of impact caused just by that form alone. Um, so balance cushioning, super important feature of our shoes. And with that, I'm going to get into a couple products. Um, I have in front of me today the, some women's models on this side, some men's models on this side. Um, just know, you know, they're the same shoes. Um, I just wanted you to be able to see all of them. The only difference, actually, is that we at Ultra, we create um, different lasts. And what a last is, it's basically the mold of the shoe. So it's kind of describing the shape of the shoe. So we use a totally different last for men than we do for women. And that's because women's feet are anatomically different than men, men's feet. Um, so women on average have a longer arch, a narrower heel, um, different flex points, a higher instep. So our women's shoes are built to accommodate those differences. So that would be the only difference you would see here. Um, so I'm going to start with the Escalante. This shoe has 24 millimeters of cushion, so it's a little bit of a closer to the ground shoe, making it great for speed work, up-tempo work. Um, it also features a really nice knit upper, so it actually looks excellent with a pair of jeans too. So it's very versatile. Um, this shoe has a midsole that we call Ego, and Ego uh, has great energy return while still being really soft and comfortable. So that's the Escalante. The next shoe I'm going to show you um, is 26 millimeters of cushion. So I'm kind of just moving up in cushion here. This is the Rivera. It's an all new shoe for us. It is launching in February. So we're really excited for it. This is sort of our mid cushion neutral road running shoe. So that means it's really great for just everyday miles. Um, it kind of does it all. It also has the Ego midsole. So the same compound that's in the Escalante. Um, but it feels a little bit softer and lighter weight because it has a lot of what we call interflex. So interflex is just grooves through the midsole that allow your foot to flex um, and move naturally. It also helps keep the weight of the shoe down. The other really key thing to point out with the Rivera is it's an all new shape for us. So it it is still foot shaped, but it does vis uh, visually look a little bit sleeker. It's not quite as bulbous as some of our other foot shaped shoes. Um, so this is going to make it a really great fit for certain people who, you know, that's more how their, their um, foot is shaped. Because right when we talk about foot shape, we have to acknowledge that there's all kinds of different shapes for people's feet. Um, so going up the line, we've got the Torn Plush. So 28 millimeters of cushion. This is my absolute favorite shoe. Um, I use it for my everyday runs, for my long runs. I've done 20 plus mile runs in this shoe and it holds up amazingly well. Um, really nice cushion. The midsole is called Quantic. So we named it that because of its, because it's so dual natured. It's very, um, very well cushioned, but it's also very, very lightweight, which is awesome. It does feature quite a bit of interflex, so it's a pretty flexible shoe. Um, knit upper makes it really beautiful, really sleek looking. This is absolutely my favorite shoe. So that's the Torn 4.5 plush. And then finally, going up in our road shoes, we've got the Paradigm. So this is the Paradigm 5. Um, it does have 30 millimeters of cushion, so it's a really highly cushioned shoe. It has an Ego midsole. Um, so much like the Escalante, um, it's not quite as flexible as our other shoes, as you can see. So it's a really good shoe for people that need a bit more structure underfoot. It also features a guide rail. And so you can't see it super well because we kind of blended it in nicely with the coloring so it doesn't stand out too much, but it is there. And what that does is when a customer, you know, when someone's out running, um, if they start to get a little unstable, they roll inward too much, something like that, it's just gonna guide them back to a more neutral position. Um, this shoe, was, when it updated in the fall, we added a mesh upper, so it just looks a lot sleeker and nicer, I think, than the previous version. But this is an awesome shoe for anyone who maybe is dealing with some injuries, has really sensitive feet, um, but it's also an amazing shoe for runners who put on a ton of miles 
and they just need some more support to help get through, you know, how much mileage they're doing. So paradigm five. And then finally, that brings us to trail. So I wanted to share one key trail shoe with everyone today. Um, so this is the Lone Peak 5. Um, the Lone Peak is our number one trail shoe. It's kind of a cult classic as we call it. It's regularly voted the number one shoe on the PCT, so the Pacific Crest Trail, um, as well as the AT, the Appalachian Trail, with through hikers. So this is a really popular shoe for hikers and trail runners alike. Um, this is updating this month in January. And so it's getting a couple, you know, key changes, but just in general to describe this shoe, this is our mid cushion trail shoe. It features, um, a max track outsole, which is a sticky rubber compound that we use, um, on most of our trail models. It's just very grippy, makes it great for trails, or even if you're just out walking your dog and it's really slippery, um, it can be really helpful. It does have multi-directional lugs on the bottom for traction. Um, what's really cool about that is because they're multi-directional, you get traction whether you're going uphill or downhill, um, which I love. So like I said, this shoe is just updating this month. So key changes with the update. Um, we have added laser cut drainage holes. Um, what this is going to do basically is you know, if you're out on the trail and you go through a creek, you go through a puddle, you've got these really great drainage holes. So within a couple steps, all that water is just going to shoot out um, and you're going to be, you know, dry in no time. Um, we added a stitch down toe cap. So um, this is really just to prevent, you know, that delamination. I think that happens a lot on trail shoes where this front little toe cap starts to flop off. So we've stitched that down really securely. Um, other... Other key updates are that we added the Ego midsole to the Lone Peak, which is really, really exciting. Um, it gives it a really nice step-in feel. It's much softer than it used to be, um, and we are so excited to see how that goes over. But that's not to say that, you know, it's not as hardy or durable. It's actually um, a very, very durable compound. In fact, that was the main reason why we decided to put the Ego Foam into this shoe. And then finally, I just wanted to mention there is a built-in stone guard in this shoe. So what that means is there's just this layer, this kind of guard that's going to help prevent you from feeling um, too many rocks and stones and things like that underfoot. So Lone Peak 5, um, keep your eye on this shoe. It's an amazing update. It's an amazing shoe to start with. And so we just can't wait to see um, how much you guys love this shoe. Um, and that is pretty much everything I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much for being involved with this VIP night and um, hope to see you guys soon.